In this video, we will apply the loads and boundary conditions on the chassis model, for two different cases, and then look at the resulting stress and deformation contours. The first crash simulation is the frontal bump test. The test is conducted to ensure the vehicle can handle roughest of bumps without affecting the vehicle's stability. Go to the New Analysis tab, insert a static structural system. Rename it to Frontal Bump Test. To simulate this case, an impact force is applied on the front right shock mounts, and the fire wall behind the driver, with the left shock mount is fixed. Right click on the frontal bump test, and insert a force. Select the right lower shock mounting points on the chassis, and click apply. Define by components, with 8250 newton in the y direction. Insert fixed supports, and select the vertices as following. Go to Solutions tab and change Beam Selection Results to Yes. Right-click on the Solution tab and insert the Total Deformation and Von Mises Stress Contours, and Solve. The maximum displacement is seen on the frontal members, right above where the forces were applied. Animate the results to visualize the displacements. The equivalent stress contours, showcase a maximum stress of 257 megapascals. This would result in a factor of safety of 2, for more safer design appropriate changes, like increasing the pipe thickness or using different materials can be made. The modal analysis, is conducted to check the natural frequency of the chassis, during vibration under its self-weight. To ensure a stable structure, this frequency should be well above, the expected range of excitation frequency caused by external factors. Go to the New Analysis tab, and insert a modal system. To know about the various mode shapes of the upper body structure, the chassis frame is fixed at the firewall behind the driver. Insert fixed support and choose the vertices. In the analysis settings, confirm number of modes to 6 and change the stress, strain and reaction forces, output requests to yes. Go to the Solutions tab, and change Beam Selection Results to Yes. Solve the model. The tabular data shows a summary of the modal results. Select all the available modes, and create mode shape results. Evaluate the generated results from the Solution tab. The total deformation corresponds to the first mode shape with the lowest natural frequency 37 Hz. The total deformation 2 corresponds to the second mode shape of frequency 51.9 Hz. The frequency modes that determine the chassis dynamic characteristics are in the range of 37 to 115 Hz. Once the accessories like seats, engine, suspensions and steering systems are added to the vehicle, the mass of the vehicle increases, thereby, increasing the natural frequency. Thanks for watching.